Today I'm going to show you how to crop a picture in really any Windows operating system. This works the same. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is just take a screenshot so that I can show you how to crop it. So I'm just going to hit Windows print screen, takes print screen and sends it to the pictures folder. So we'll go to the pictures folder here. And uh, it's going to be in the screenshots folder. And it's this one right here. As you can see, it's like it's a picture of the entire desktop, and I'm going to cut it down so that only this is shown. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. So what you need to do is you find your picture that you want to crop, and then right-click on it and choose just Edit. And when you click Edit, it by default will open with Windows Paint. If you want to, you can just open Windows Paint uh, in the programs list. It's under uh, programs and then accessories usually. Windows accessories, paint. So you could open paint and then do a file open instead and just find your picture. But basically just open the picture with paint. And then there's going to be this option at the top that looks like a dotted line. And select that and then draw a box around what you want to keep rather than what you want to delete you you draw around what you want to keep so let's just say I only want to keep these three icons so I'm gonna just start right about here and draw all the way up into the corner and what's kind of funny actually is you can just drag this around so like you can do a little bit of uh, video, photo editing if you wanted to uh, this way like rearrange some stuff but uh, this piece is the piece that you want to keep so after you have it selected, then hit the crop button right here, and it'll take away everything that you didn't have selected. Uh, at this point, I would make sure to save it, but don't hit file save, because then it will save over your original picture, and your original picture will be deleted like this. I would more recommend hitting file save as, and save it as like screenshot 14 edited, so then if you mess something up uh, if you mess something up then you can still go back to the original and then add more like you can see like I cut off one of the dots here and if I had just saved the original picture that dot would have been gone forever but now if I'm like ah oh, I kinda wanted that dot actually then I can open up the original still again and draw a slightly different box to include that dot. So now I can crop again and now I have that dot in there. So I would recommend actually even before you do the crop to do a file save as, as a new picture and then change that. But uh, that's all you have to do to crop a picture in Windows 8 or when, really whatever Windows operating system. And one thing you'll notice is that the original screenshot that I took, if you look at the size of it, it's 1.48 megs, which is a decent size file, but the uh, cropped file is actually quite a bit smaller. It's only 33.4 kbytes, so it's like a 33rd of the size, I guess. So doing this, you can really, if you cut down a picture that's just too big, has a lot of stuff that you don't want in it, you can get a much smaller, better picture that if you were emailing to somebody or somebody, it would take a lot less time for them to download, and it's more useful on the internet and everything. So. Uh, that's how you crop a picture in Windows 8.